Hello, in this tutorial I will go over how to create a drag and drop quiz where we drag the correct answer into a certain space and then it tells us to go over to the next question. So we can go question by question, kind of maybe for English quizzes or also for fun quizzes you can do on a Skype. So let's first create the backend for this. We'll have drag questions, not drag queens. We'll have drag answers, where every question will have a few potential answers. And we'll have drag colors, because we want it to look nice and colorful. Let's start off with the drag colors. They will just have a text, which is their color. Let's add some cool colors. To go over, we go to all drag colors, and we add some new entries. We can go to Encyclopedia and just add some colors, which we like, into the database and it'll randomly add them to our answers. So I'm just basically copy-pasting some hexadecimal codes. And adding them entry by entry into the records database. I think five is enough for the time being. Okay, and as the next part, we want to go over to the drag questions and define what they're about. So each drag question will have a question text. Then each drag question will have a right answer, which is a type drag answer. And it will have a list of potential answers. There's a list, a list of drag answers and a question will have a list of users who answered right this is a list so that will allow us to know whether a person has already answered a question and whether it's been answered correctly to go over to the next question and then a drag answer associated with it might have an answer text as well as a root question, which is a type drag question. And I think that should be it for the moment. It should also have a color, which is a text, or a color without the U for Americans. And we go over, we first want to create an admin where we can actually add some stuff to the database, like questions, so it says here, enter question, and an add button. And this just adds new questions to the database by creating a thing type drag question with the question text of the input. Then we can reset the input. And then we also want to add some answers to it, but first what we're going to do is display the question we added into this group. So whenever we add one, we display immediately the in the group drag questions the question we've created. So to just this question, we can add some answers first so we don't get confused. Let's add its text. So question text, and then let's add a repeating group of the drag answers to see all potential answers. So it's pairing groups, drag questions, list of potential answers. Again, we can show a text showing the current cells, drag answers, answer text. Then we want a similar place to up here where we can add answers. Enter, answer, enter, answer. So when we click add here, we create a new drag answer with the answer text of the input enter answer with the root question of the parent group and with a color where we search the entire database for track colors take a random one out of them and display the text because we made the text the hexadecimal code so it will be able to display the colors we choose here and then we also modify the parent groups Drag question. So to the question we selected, we want to add 
that answer to its potential answers. And again, we reset the inputs. And now we've added maybe four questions to uh, four answers to one particular question, and then make this one the right one. So we have a button which we can then click to make of the group track questions that question we want to define that the right answer is whatever we select. Okay, so that's already the admin done. Maybe one more thing in case we get something wrong. We want another repeating group which displays all drag questions by searching the database. Drag questions. And the question text is displayed. And whenever we click it, then we display in the group where we can add answers that question. So we can go question by question and select the right answer again. Okay. And now over to the quiz. What will be the quiz? It's a repeating group where we're going to go. I think we actually already, we can take the top one, which I actually copied already in Foresight. Here, I'm going to again search questions, but we're just going to show one question at a time because if we make this large enough, what this allows us to do is it allows us to have a continue button. Which is first hidden and only when the current cells drag questions list of users to answer the right contains the current user, only then we make this continue button visible. So when we've already answered this question correctly, otherwise it's hidden. Okay. And then what we want to happen when we click continue is we can actually click show next of the repeating group because the repeating group, we told it to have only one cell at a time showing, and then we can have an, a fixed number of cells. So only in that case, we can click continue if we have a fixed number of cells. Okay, and now we want a place to be able to drag and drop. So first, the place we drop into, so this will be the place to drop the right answer into. And we select intersect type of content is a drag answer, and it will be the current cells drag questions right answer, which is a type drag answer. So we'll be kind of dragging the potential answers of one question into the right answer and see if the right answer and the potential answer, if they are the same text. So to show all potential answers, so we might want like A, B, C, or D for each question, we have another repeating group, which shows drag answers, which drag answers, the current cells drag questions, the list of potential answers. And inside this repeating group, we have the things to drop. And here it's again type drag answer. Sorry, not a drop area, but the thing to drag. So I've clicked on replace and select drag group. And here the option is to make this element droppable and to move back and type of content is a drag answer. So we'll be typing and um, dragging a drag answer and we'll be displaying inside here the right answer. So the, I mean, the answer in general. So the fan group drag answers answer text. Maybe we want to make this a little larger so we can actually see it at the user as the user. Okay, and then what we're going to do is here we have the four potential answers and we're going to try dragging always the, one of them and seeing whether the answer we drag is actually the right answer. So we go over to the workflows, click the empty box and do when a drop area has a group dropped on it. So the type of thing which we're going to be drag and dropping is the drag answer. And so the condition we will have is only when current cells drag questions 
right answer is current workflows drag ads. So that's the condition we'll be checking. In the other case, we have a is not. So we have either the answer is right or it's not. And what do we want to do? Well, when it's the wrong answer, maybe we want to show an X here. So a cross, because we're cross about having the wrong answer, pun intended. And we first hide the cross. And then in the condition that it's not the same, so this is what we're dragging, this is what we're dropping into. And maybe current cell, maybe this drop answers, drag answers is current workflows. This is probably the better condition. So here it's an is not, and here it is, because this drop area is what we're dropping into, and what we're dragging is the current workflows drag answer. So here it's an is, here it's an is not. So when it's wrong, we want to show the close symbol. Then we want to maybe pause for a second, and then we want to hide the close symbol again. And in the other case, when it's right, we want to first show maybe a check mark symbol, which is maybe green, also hidden. And then we want to make changes to thing, we want to make changes to current cells drag question and to the list of users who answered right, we want to add the current user. So if I answer it right, I will be added to this list. And if someone on their computer answers it right, they will be added to this list. We do want to then pause again and hide the icon check for the next question when we click next. Okay, and maybe we also want to then when it's right, show the correct answer in here. So we do, so this is a type drag answer, and this is a text. So we do pan groups drag answers answer text, and it's not visible, and maybe we space it to be the size of the entire group and to center it vertically and to add as a background color green and to also center it like this. And we make this one only show when pan groups drag answers, root questions, list of users who answered right contains the current user. Then we'll make show the right answer in green so the users know they have been right and can go to the next question. Okay, let's just check everything. So we create a new drag question, display it in this group. This group is expecting drag questions. Here we add drag answers, which is again a new data type with the answer, with the root question, and with a random color. We add this answer to the list of answers of that question. We display it here in the list of potential answers and then have a button which allows us to make whichever one we click the right answer. Then here we have a repeating group showing all questions where we can click on a question to then display all the potential answers and select the right one as the admin. So all this stuff at the top can be only on your page as the admin page. And here's a repeating group the user sees. So we have here the question. We have here a repeating group of the answers, continue button, which is not shown, and it is, however, shown when we've answered it correctly. Then we show the next question. Here we've got a drag group, type drag answer with answer text, which is fine. And here we've got a drop area with a drag answer showing the right answer. And in the case that we've got it right, we show the 
And so parent groups drag answers root question, list of users adds a right, contains current user. In that case, we show the parent groups drag answer text, which is fine because this is the right answer. And then we have the close, the check mark, and the wrong symbol showing. And in one condition, when this drop error is drag answer is the current workflow. So when we're dragging, this is the one we're, we're dropping into. Then we show the check mark icon add to the drag question that user who's answered it right and then hide the check mark question. And in the other case where it's not, then we close it at a pause and hide the close icon. Okay, that should work. Let's check. And a question, what color is the ocean? And we have blue, green, like it yellow, like the yellow river. Then red, like the Red Sea. And I don't know, purple. And another question, what is the price of oil currently? Oh wait, just before I add this, I make the right answer blue. Now I add this question, what is the price of oil currently? $45 a barrel. Then we have too high. Then we have too low. And then we have, who cares, electric vehicles are the future. And we just put 45, uh, who cares, electric vehicles are the future, that's the only one. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm actually not sure whether Tesla will make it against Volkswagen, but I am German. So then we've got a third question maybe. Um, what do you like about bubble? The speech bubble icons, the water-based name, drag and dropping, and drag queens. And of course, drag queens is the right answer. And here we see our first question. And we see here we've not dragged the group right in. And we're not showing four answers in it. So that's why we only saw one here. And then also we want to change the background to actually be the current cells drag answers color. Okay, so that's nice. We can immediately preview and see it again. We've got our questions here. Uh, we notice this color is a little <laughs> stressful to say the least because we can't uh, see the text, but uh, let's uh, drag it in anyway. We'll see it's wrong. And here the next one is wrong. But when we do blue, it hopefully is right. Yes, and it changes to green, which is nice. Then we can click on the continue button, which vanishes for the next question. Again, we can go at too high, it won't work, too low won't work, but this one will work. And we will see it, and then we can click continue. We'll like about bubble and drag queens. And that's it. Hope this tutorial helped you and gave you some laughs. Cheers.